Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer. Uh, tech support out on Tuesday, they say. Um, I'm going to try my, my mic in a different place to see if I can get better audio. Uh, see what does. Okay. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over the drop and drag and drop, which is this thing. Um, and I'll just do a quick demo. I'll just see what you think it is. You have to, uh, you can click on things, which will change the items. Or you can click and hold and then drag and drop them to change their places. That's drag and drop. Um, so really all it's doing is it's setting up a mutable flow here, mutable state flow. Uh, you might hear some fireworks going on in the background. I'm in Mexico. Uh, so this sets up a mutable state flow of these uh, of these items, which, which basically represents the state of this particular application. Um, and then we uh, you know, have an on click handler here. And then we have uh, actually create the, the drag and drop items list right here. And uh, we send in the items and send in this function here. This, this thing means use this, use this as a function. Call this when you, when you get back. <laughs> you could also set this up as a Lambda um, uh, if you want to do that, but that's makes it a little cleaner to look like this. Um, and here it calls the, uh, gets into the, drag and drop list here, which um, keeps an internal mutable state and a, a state, a collected, uh, where it's, this is actually with the read only version of the state. Um, and it, for, it first gets in, it shuffles it. I shuffle it already, but I shuffle it again, why not? And um, uh, when, so it, this, this is actually the, the, the code. And that's, um, this comes from the experimental foundation. Conf uh, this one, this one came from the, uh, I, I, um, this one came from a uh, Stack Overflow post. So I modified the code to work a little bit better in this way. Um, and I put to the card. And when you click on it, it does the callback, which uh, I'm going to play with this with this annotation thing. So it, um, so I'm going to go in here, go to annotate. And here, let me use this one. So how it works is you're right down inside here and the user clicks on an item and it calls this item clicked handler, which calls this here, which is, which is going to use this parameter here, which is this on item click, which will take in the, uh, the, when the flow updates, it'll take in the current list of items and, uh, Update, update, whatever needs to be updated here, and then create a new list at the end, which will get passed back into this thing. Basically, this thing will be uh, emitted and go emit. Uh, it'll emit, emit a new item into the drag and drop drag list, which gets sent here, and it's to this update these list of items, which will go. Uh, for this items list here, which will then be the new value here, which will be redrawn for this drag and drop column. So that's how that works. Um, it's simple. It's, it, you know, it just, I want to be explicit about how this thing bounces around because it's not always understandably easy. So that's how that works. And the code's all available. And that's fast and easy drag and drop. Totally customizable. Easy to put in a KMP project. This is Android, but it'll work inside a KMP project. This code will work just fine. Um, that's it for now.